Today we are going to go over how to test for free fatty acids in your oil using the Food Lab Junior Analyzer. To begin, you'll want to start by powering on your unit by pressing the power button located in the back. Upon doing this, you'll see the blue lights and screen turn on. From here, it will take the analyzer about five to seven minutes to finish warming up. What this is doing is it's bringing the incubation and reading cells to the proper testing temperature. Once your analyzer has finished warming up, place the reagent cuvettes into the incubation cells and allow them to incubate for at least five minutes. Once the five minutes is completed and your reagent cuvettes are brought to the proper temperature, you are now ready to test. You'll begin by pressing tests on the screen. Since we're testing for free fatty acids, you'll want to select acidity. From here, you'll estimate which range your oil sample falls into. Next, you'll perform the blank reading. For this, you'll simply select sample one. You can change the name of the sample if you'd like, or you can keep it the same as sample one. A, the reagent cuvette you'd like to use. Invert it and place it into the blinking blue reading cell. Then you'll press the green arrow. Now, if you'd like to keep going and test more than one sample, you can repeat the same step for sample two. Again, if you'd like to continue with a third sample, you're more than welcome to. But once all the blank readings are finished, you'll press stop. Next is when you actually add your oil sample. On the screen, it will indicate the proper amount of sample to add. So you'll want to start by adjusting your micropipette to the appropriate amount. From here, we'll want to flush the pipette using the sample oil. Draw up the oil into the pipette tip and expel it into a paper towel or Kim wipe. You'll do this about three to four times. Once your pipette tip is primed and ready to go, you'll want to ensure that your micro pipette is still on the appropriate volume. After doing so, again, you will just make sure that the piston on the pipette is pushed all the way down. Go into your oil and draw up slowly. And you'll take your paper towel or Kim wipe and you'll wipe off the excess oil on the pipette tip. But when doing this, you wanna make sure that you don't get the very tip of the pipette. You'll want to examine the pipette tip and make sure that in the oil there are no air bubbles or particulate. Place the pipette tip into the reagent. You can place it all the way down until the pipette tip touches the reagent. Then you'll press the piston down to expel the oil and draw it back up when it's still in the reagent. Then you'll just go back and forth and rinse the pipette tip with the reagent. This will make sure that all the oil is out of the pipette and in the cuvette in order to get an accurate reading. Put the cap back on, gently invert the cuvette, and place it into the proper blinking blue reading cell. From here, we'll press the green arrow, and this will be the sample reading. Now, if you only did one sample, you're done, and the result will be on the screen. If you had more than one sample, simply scroll down, and you will see the next. I hope this was helpful, and happy testing. Thank you.